Hi, I'm Kimbra, and I covered Beyonce's Break My Soul for Like A Version. I chose to cover Break My Soul by Beyonce because obviously I'm a huge fan and it's an incredible song, but I really like the idea of putting a new spin on something, maybe listening to the lyric in a way that you hadn't thought of um, hearing it. You won't break my soul, I'm telling everybody. When she says, you won't break my soul, I'm telling everybody. There was something kind of emotional about that, like maybe she had been broken before, but now she's coming back with a new strength. So I started the idea in a slow, quite kind of somber tone, um, kind of reinterpreting it as a ballad. But then I was like, yo, this still has to be a party. So <laughs> then I made it like, you know, um, a banger at the end and kind of jumped on that interesting syncopation that's in the song, which to me is the most interesting part of it, is that it takes from the house culture, um, lots of little upbeats and little stabs. The process of making the demo was just me at home playing around with different ways that I could reinterpret it. I started with a um, halftime beat. I wanted to bring in some Latin influence, so I took some samples from an old drum library I had that were kind of a little bit, you know, swung. Just something the total opposite of the rigid um, house beat that is on the original. And then I asked a collaborator of mine, Time and Martin, to send me some beats at 120 that were kind of in that more upbeat style. And then I was deciding which one to go with, like slow or fast, and I was like, why don't I just do both? So then I cut them up, put them together, and that became the demo, and I ended up sending that to the band, and then everyone just put their own spin on it. My favorite part of this cover is actually the funky bass line. Um, when I programmed that in, in at home, I was like, oh yeah, like this is, this is the, the heart of the groove. Um, and Ben, the keyboardist, just nailed the feel. I also just really loved singing with the girls, uh, Tandi and uh, Lana, when we jumped in on the hey, like it was just so triumphant. And there's nothing like singing with other vocalists. Uh, often I'm just on my own um, performing uh, vocals, so that was really fun. Everybody. Destiny's Child were a staple of my upbringing. And really how I learned um, Com complex harmony and, you know, trills and being able to kind of have technical ability as a singer. Beyonce is always at the forefront of trend setting. She's kind of seeing what's coming next and jumping on it. And I think that's just as important um, for being a pop artist is to not only be a great musician, but to also be able to like observe the climate and, and know how to push it forward. My favorite Triple J like a version is uh, the cover that Sampa the Great did of DNA by Kendrick Lamar. It's one of my favorite songs of his. And just the way she rearranged it, the way she took the hooks and gave them to the backing vocalists and just how tough and like, you know, um, daring she is as an artist. It's, it's challenging to cover a Kendrick song. So I really like admired that, um, that prowess and kind of um, badassery. Badassery, is that a word? <laughs> Looking back on when I last did Triple J's Like A Version, my career was only really just beginning. I think my first record, Vows, had just come out. I was, you know, very nervous about live performances back then. Um, and I also, you know, was still very much based in Australia, whereas nowadays I've been in the States for um, going on 10 years. So it's just funny to, to sort of think back um, that, that young girl that didn't really know what, what was coming. Um, none of my work with Gautier had come out at that time, I believe. So it was, uh, yeah, it was really beautiful to actually watch that and, and see um, hopefully how, how far I've come. It means a lot to me to perform on Triple J's Like A Version because Triple J have been such big supporters of my career since the very start. I feel like I got my platform um, on the station and in this country. So um, it's just cool to come back. And I had so much fun today doing the session. I was a little bit nervous because I actually only met the band the day before at rehearsal. So I was like, I hope these guys are onto it. And then they absolutely killed it. Um, all just so professional, but also like bringing their own flavor to stuff. Um, so yeah, no stress, super pumped. Tonight, I'm gonna go have some good food, have a few drinks and just like relax, you know, the hard stuff is over.